No one play loses a game. No one play wins a game. This is not the way it is. I mean, a lot of people want to point at one or two plays, but it's a collection of plays that causes the difference in a game, whether it's won or lost. But, hey, you know what? I wish we had a lot more like Carl. Tough, competitive, football instincts, football IQ, okay? And that guy's got it. And you know what? It is important to him. I wish we had more like him. So can you point to an area at this point, because you mentioned the inconsistency, can you point to an area where your defense is doing particularly well right now? Well, I thought we've improved. <coughs> I said that earlier. We improved a lot playing the run against a very good running team. Collins' longest run was 13 yards. So I thought we made tremendous strides there. And I thought that, uh, you know, again, their third down was a little skewed because you got third, uh, four third, third and one situations, which against a team like that, but, you know, again, we, we, we battled our butt off. We competed hard in the game. And to, to get ourselves to 24-24 at the end of the game, uh, to respond down there to, to force a field goal, I mean, there's a lot of positives from an effort standpoint, from a leverage and formation standpoint that maybe don't show up as far as the statistics are concerned. But statistically, after regulation, it's probably our, one of our better games too. So there's a lot of improvement. You're talking about Carlton and the, emo the amount of emotional investment he has in this. It's very important to him. You said you wish you had more guys like that. Do you feel like your team in general, your unit in general, has enough emotional investment in what's going on? Sure, I do. You know, but I'm just fan. I'm just I'm complimenting a player that obviously it's really, really, really important to him to be very successful. It starts with winning, and it starts with his football team and how we perform. And it's really important to that guy. It just stands out to me. And I'm just making a compliment to a player. On the interception that Chris had, he was really, really deep at that point. Did you guys kind of have a feel of what they were going to try to do there and give him? No, we had just we were, we just called him in a, in a right call. We wanted to pressure and, and play man, and we dropped one of our linebackers to the middle of the field in that situation. And he just kind of reads the quarterback's eyes. Mm -hmm. that point. What are you expecting from Ole Miss on, on Saturday? Really good offense and very explosive. What they do, they play with great tempo, a lot of run pass options. As far as the quarterback's concerned, he's playing at a high level. You know, some very difficult matchups outside with Treadwell and that entire receiving crew is outstanding. So they do a really good job getting the ball to their tight end. Ingram's a really good player. You know, he's a guy that can you know, get you out on the field vertically, create a lot of run pass issues, uh, and uh, do, do a good job offensively. How do you feel like your linebackers did as a, as a group? Pretty Just average. About average? We well, need to play better. We need to get more production. It's the bottom line. you got to get off blocks, you know. Yeah, you got to – Disengage a guy and make a tackle. I mean, at this point, you've got seniors playing a lot. Right. We need, we need to be better. Seniors. We need to be better. Can you coach them to get off? We're the trying to. Doing all we can. Trying to. Do you feel like that's the biggest inhibitor right now, that you've got to get off block and get into a gap? Well, there's, you're going to get blocked in our league. When you play a two-bat run team, there's going to be a, a chance that an offensive lineman might actually get on top of you. So you got to play off of it, you know? We met with them today and told them the same thing I've told them for seven Sundays. Get off a block and make a play. They're going to block you. You're going to get blocked. That's going to happen. Disengage a guy and make a tackle. Well, in the, in the, as, as you move forward, you talk about the good things, obviously the negative of, of not winning the game. But is there, do you think, it, as far as I believe, confidence, whatever you want to call it, that that game will be beneficial moving forward because you did it? I don't first? think you'd get anything out of a loss to me personally, but I do think that Guys understand when they watch the tape and they play within a scheme and system and they do things right, that some good things can happen for them. And I think I certainly know that they see that. So, again, be very technical in the approach and, Bob, you know, what we did well. And we did a lot of things well in the game. And number one, starting with competing. And that's what we got to continue to build on and build it with the right guys. Well, how did Dontavis and Mon play inside? But, well, you know, Montrevis had a little bit of a shoulder going into the game and, uh, you know, played extremely well. Played physical inside. Split some double teams, made plays, was uh, was blocked a lot, was handled a lot, disengaged a lot, got off blocks, made tackles, was disruptive in the game. I would say the same for Montavious. Well, when you see a guy like Montravius, as many snaps as he played there at the end, I mean, he's he's close to blocking extra points, close to blocking field goals. What does that mean for a team to see a guy playing like that? Well, again, you got to get more guys doing it, you know. But he's a disruptive player, and again. Really challenged him going into the game of, of playing against a team with the physicality that Arkansas plays with uh, to play well, and he certainly did and played hard. No, it's only the first time he's played this season yesterday, but how different is, is Ole Miss's offensive line with Tunson? Just how, how different are they? Well, I believe he's a really good player. You know, recruiting him out of high school, he's a great kid and, and a guy that's uh, 
I think they've shuffled some guys. I've only watched some. I haven't watched as much as I normally would but at this point. But they've shuffled some guys back back to their normal spots as they probably approached the season thinking that he was going to be the left tackle. Uh, so they've moved some guys around, so maybe some guys are more comfortable, but they certainly looked good last night. You mentioned uh, Treadwell. What do you think of the season that he's having? Just given Fantastic. The that he had last Blocks, year? does everything. Physical, tough, competes on the top of routes, goes after the ball. Uh, great competitor, uh, but, you know, it's every snap. You know, it's not just when they throw it to him. You, when, they, when they're not throwing him the ball, he's blocking, he's running his routes hard, even when he knows the ball's not coming to him. You really appreciate the way he plays the game. Do you think he'll be a little more emotional about this game because of what happened last year against Auburn? Uh, you know, based on the film, he's pretty emotional every game. The guy competes and plays, and you really appreciate the way he approaches the game. Is Kenyon banged up at all right now? Kenyon. Rashid Kenyon? No, he was in a rabbits package, in a rush package, and, you know, we had a lot of, you know, third and shorter distances. We didn't get to that as much as, you know, we wanted to. Uh, but no, he's been fine. You know, he provides some things in the rush. Certainly, this Saturday will be important for him to, to play well for us. Do you expect Carl to play Saturday? You know, I don't know. Coach will address that. I know he met with Dr. Andrews over the weekend, and I think Gus will address that too. How has he just, in your eyes, progressed in being around the team and seeing him get off the crutches and be able to do more? Well, I mean, again, his presence you know means a lot for our guys. He's certainly you know a leader on our defense and a guy that. Uh, is an experienced, good football player, a productive football player. And part of being a leader is you got to be productive. You know, so he's a guy that's been there and done that at a high level, and uh, continues to, uh, to to provide good leadership for our guys. And certainly, hopefully, if we get him back on the practice field this week, uh, will be a huge bonus for us from a, from a mental standpoint as much as anything. I know coaches don't do it often at worth at all, but. Do you ever look back and think, I wonder what it would have been like if we got him here and here and no. here? No, it's, it's, injuries are part of the game. It's moving. The defense and, and the team as a whole has shown a lot of mental toughness and metal over the course of the season. But having said that, when you are in last place in the SEC West and the stats are what they are, how long do you think that metal and mental toughness can stay when the standings are what they are and, and the results are what they are right now? Well, again, that's what <clears throat> that goes back to recruiting and recruiting good people, which we have good people. You know, and guys that uh, that understand, you know, playing for that AU on their helmet's important, and uh, and I believe that, and I believe in the coaching staff here and the players here, uh, continuing to push forward. And the, the, the biggest, you know, opportunity we have is Saturday afternoon to, to continue to improve, and that's what we challenged our players with today, and uh, certainly feel like moving forward that that's going to be the mentality and the attitude. I didn't, I saw a very extremely hurt and dis disappointed group this morning, which was good, you know. Uh, and I've been in some other situations before in my coaching career where you walked in Sunday and you wondered if you won or lost. And certainly the group today was a, was a dis dejected bunch. And so to me that's a positive because it's important to them. And, uh, and I'm, all the signs to me that uh, to lead to this football team is going to continue to fight. And for you.